Hello everyone, my name is Impractical and welcome back to Sonic Speed Simulator. Today we're going to be going to our usual Thursday rumor mill news update channel, etc, etc, etc. Yeah, there is a lot to go over today, especially my absence from last week. So let's just hop into it. Okay, first things first, if you guys notice, I took a little break from last week. Of course, I was kind of burned out from the whole ESP Silver, but I did miss out reporting the fact that Grind Shoe Sonic was going to be the upcoming event. Not something big because he was already in the game before so it felt more like a rehash but the biggest thing is the change that's right the change to esp silver because now i'm pretty sure a lot of you are aware of this and it's old news but emerald shards now work with the event chows thank god because my god it was a pain to play that event and i know you guys were struggling i found it frustrating so did the entire community and they definitely heard our voices and our feedback and made that change it's good to know that they are listening when it comes to stuff like this but that's not the only thing to happen in last week that's right if a lot of you were there for my live stream i did a beta playthrough for sonic rumble that's right i played through the beta i got me an invitation leak the game is pretty decent i'm not gonna complain too much about it it's not a bad game overall to kill time but there are a few things they need to tweak and work on for me to say hey this feels like a true sonic game and not just a fall guys clone but if you guys are interested in seeing that i did a complete breakdown on the channel that's right a complete breakdown you literally everything even the obscure fact that they had controller support and didn't tell us what buttons are mapped to what action so i literally just had to do guesswork and figure that out myself if you're interested in the customization options for the game, then I also have a video covering all the options that were available during the beta. I played it to its completion. I literally unlocked everything except all the emblem ranks, but yes, completed the battle pass and unlocked everything in the shop. So it's there for you guys to view. Do check it out in the description below next to the other video breaking down the entire game experience. Uh, if they can have an emo of Shadow doing the gritty, I would be happy. All right, let's just jump into some quick coverage of news. If a lot of you could please do me the favor and stop letting the devs know that people are scraping the files of the game and dropping leaks in the main Discord, it wouldn't make things complicated for these leaks to be put out. No, seriously, they really do not like hearing that we're doing that and kind of you know spoiling the experience in advance but a lot of you know i do provide good advice and feedback so that way you guys are prepared for upcoming events now there's not much to put out this week in terms of leaks and rumors and updates well there is but there's something in particular i'm more interested in and it's what i missed out dropping last week and you're gonna see it on screen right now it is shadow's bike that's right i'm not joking around shadow's bike coming to sonic speed simulator now that's a very fascinating thing because this bike is well it's what we see him in the opening cutscene for his shadow the hedgehog his own mainline game but now it looks like he's going to be able to ride this motorcycle through sonic speed sim oh look it finally happened okay so i know i'm reporting out rumors and leaks but you guys are seeing my character stuck in auto run i've had a lot of you in the comment section ask me about this and I didn't even know what you guys were talking about. So this, well, I can't believe it took almost an hour for this to finally happen to me to see it. It looks like he just clipped on something above the loop and gets stuck, which is terrible because I'm going to still be getting red star rings, but I'm not going to be gaining steps. I don't know what I can do to prevent this, but I'm going to keep testing it out. And hopefully I will have an answer for a lot of you in the comment section who are concerned about this. Moving back to the Dark Rider topic, yes, that's the name of the motorcycle. We don't know when it's coming out. I am hoping it does come out this weekend because something than uh, hoverboards and tornadoes would be a nice welcome change to the game. I'm more happy if they gave us some of those air shoes in Sonic Riders so that way everybody can kind of hover like Shadow. That would be pretty nice. But to see other vehicle options is pretty interesting to see coming to the game and something that I am happy for. Now let's just move straight to the channel update, okay? Because I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. I do want to cover other games than Sonic Speed Sin. I can make guides. I am capable of that. But a lot of you only seem interested in Sonic Speed Sin, which is fine. It's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be a mainstay of the channel. But you will see other projects roll out, just like Sonic Rumble. Right now, I still have to upload the playthrough for Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door on the Switch, the remake. And I'm planning for other games just to be circulated on the channel these won't be regulars and will replace sonic speed sim but there are ways for me to add other content 
and to also avoid the burnout because as you guys can see on screen I have 40,000 red star rings on auto run around that much and there's a reason behind it um, yeah I don't want to ruin the surprise but you guys are gonna like it when everything finally pays off of this auto run project that I'm working on those of you who are in the discord server that's right in the channel discord server you guys are privy and know exactly what I'm doing and a lot of you think it's pretty crazy so yes trust me it's well worth it I'm pretty sure this video will blow up when it does come out about my secret project all right let's just get into comment commentary where you guys comment on my videos and I'll answer the questions on Thursday I know I missed out on last week so I'll be answering extra this time okay moving on to wow there is a lot of questions here Jesus okay so let's go down to the ESP silver we have doge gaming asking and practical could I ask what is the best skin for luck well doge lucky for you I have an entire spreadsheet for that so on screen I already took snippets of that spreadsheet you're gonna see every character that has the highest luck stat possible in game so these are the characters you want to focus up and get them six stars so that way hey you can make sure they have the highest luck which is a plus 15 so uh, enjoy that make good use of it Dayron the Sonic fan is asking okay so quick question did y'all get less emerald shards like at 1700 800 ish yes I did get them less during the time when we didn't have event shells working I believe the reason for that is because they were taking a lot longer to load or we're moving faster than they can load in the game so that could have been the reason why I also noticed connection can also mess with how long it takes for the uh, emerald shards to replenish itself this isn't a question, but I'll address it anyway. Super Cinder Inferno says, this line makes me think you hate Sonic music. And the line they're referring to is when I said that I don't care for music tracks being a reward. Um, I don't hate Sonic music. A lot of my channels, you guys would know, I will use older classic Sonic music to actually fit with the video. Um, it's more of if I'm gonna be spending two hours of quest and my only reward is a music track, and Emerald Charge being the most frustrating at the time, uh, I believe I deserve a little more for my frustration than just the music track. That's that's where it's coming from. But no, I do like Sonic music. Don't worry. Amir by 5 kl asks, how do you unlock Metal City? Well, this one's easy. You have to get 55 Team Mastery to unlock it. And it looks like we had a few people that actually replied to that. Good on you guys. I appreciate that. It's good to see you guys helping each other out in the comment section. But yes, you have to get 55 Team Mastery. And the way you get Team Mastery is either by having 55 level 1 characters or by leveling up a few characters max until you have reached around that ballpark of near 55 or above 55 for it to be able to unlock. Mary's 1358. Again, I'm sorry for replying to a lot of these super late guys. I really do. Sorry. Uh, I don't want any of you to feel like I'm ignoring you, so I'm just going to try my best to go through them all. But Mary's 1358 asks, What's a good character and child for a thousand balloons? Crazy love the videos appreciate that thanks marys um so there is no good chow for the thousand balloons it looks like they activated it i'm not sure if they activated for the entire event event chows or they activated only for emerald shards i will have to do another test through with my uh with my other alts but i'll get back to you on that one as soon as i get the answer one last piece of update for the channel i am planning to do a sonic adventure 2 battle playthrough i'm not sure if i want to do a live stream of it or a let's play or how i want to go about it because i would like you guys to participate because the plan is to make my viewers into chows and watch you guys fight each other in chow karate in between the stages so um if that's something you're interested in, please leave me feedback in the comments and i would really appreciate it so that way i can come with a good idea i want plenty of mods to be involved with this game and just for it to be as crazy as possible and something you guys will be able to enjoy watching but that's about it for this video thank you so much for sticking around i love you guys i appreciate all of you don't forget to leave a like and subscribe comment down below and i'll see all of you next time Bye bye